What is going on guys, Snickle here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Platinum Trophy video. Today we are going to be getting the Platinum Trophy and Sniper Elite V2 for the PlayStation 3. The last two trophies that I need are Hide and Hope, which is to complete a level without being shot at a single time. And the next trophy that I need is Make Every Bullet Count, which is to complete a level with 100% accuracy using only rifles. Now I can do this, or I could have done this, in the same playthrough but I messed up and I was stupid so I'm gonna show both uh, missions and uh, walk you guys through it anyway but anyway hope you guys enjoy it and let's get right into it okay so from the main menu if you go to single player uh, you can go to mission select and from here we're going to pick the prologue because it is the easiest and we're gonna play on cadet now like I said before you can get this trophy you can get both of these trophies in the same playthrough, but I messed up in the first one that you're going to see here because I didn't follow the guidelines of uh, the one trophy, Make Every Bullet Count, or was it Make Every Bullet Count? I think it was Make Every Bullet Count, which was to get 100% accuracy with rifles. I pulled out a pistol and I used it accidentally. I'm stupid, I know. So anyway, um, I'm only going to show this cutscene once, and then when I do the next time, we'll, we'll cut it um, down a little bit. But when you first play the prologue through, uh, when you play the game through the first time and you play the prologue, it's going to do all the tutorials and everything, and they're very annoying because the control scheme of these of this game is kind of like a first-person Call of Duty a little bit in a way. So um, y if you're into first-person shooters or shooters in general, uh, you'll fe feel very comfortable with this game. There's nothing too different with it. So um, w when you play through the pro play the prologue wow i cannot talk blah, 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 blah. words um when you play the prologue the first time like i said you will have all the tutorials but when you play the prologue through mission select uh you will not have the tutorials anymore so it'll go right into this part here so here we are and we are focusing time and bang we shoot the guy square in the head i want to say we shoot both of his eyes out i'm not 100 percent sure Oh, we shot one of his eyes out. Okay, so from right there, what you want to do is shoot that guy, and you want to get the hell out of here. Now, right now, we're going to not get shot at once. Now, this is the hardest part right here. You're going to take out this guy, and then right away, you're going to see this guy. He's going to run away, and he's going to... Sometimes he'll lay on the ground. Sometimes uh, he'll run to different spots, but usually he will run, and you'll be able to take him out. No problem. But those are the two hardest guys in this mission to take out. And there's going to be a tank that comes after you. So you need to get over to this hole as fast as possible. Get prone and get in there. Um, but like I said, that's going to be the most difficult part with people, um, you know, trying to shoot at you. Um, there is one more intense part. And I'm going to sh uh, tell you guys how to get in the next playthrough. But I, like I said, I did mess up in this playthrough. Um, so now this part, um, again, can be a little bit difficult because you need to sneak by these people you don't want to shoot them at all you want to more sneak by them so like like i said it's going to be a little bit more difficult and i actually jump out a little bit early that guard that's pacing in the back there by the wall behind the truck he is the most annoying guard um because of the way he's always looking and everything but it is very doable to get by him so there we go we're getting by these guys and these guys are stupid they're not going to see you so as you can see him back there in the back he's still pacing and luckily he did not see us now at this point in time i should not have had my pistol out i should still have my rifle out. i should have my rifle out the whole mission but i wasn't following guidelines so here we go i'm about to mess up right about here yep there we go now did i get 100 percent accuracy Yes. Did I get 100% accuracy with my rifle? Yes. But trophy is very stingy. It wants you to use your rifle for the whole mission. Um, it doesn't want you to use pistols or anything. So from there, all we're going to do is just run, bang, and we will complete the mission right there. We don't have to worry about killing any of those enemies. So here we go. We are going to get, I believe this is hide and hope, which is not to get shot out uh, at all in the mission or get shot or whatever the hell it is. Um... And like I always say, PlayStation 3 is going to take a little while to pop. So we're just waiting here for this trophy. <laughs> there it is, hide and hope. And let's get into the next playthrough now. Alright, so here we are in the next playthrough. And this time we are going to get 100% accuracy with our rifle. Now I was going to just show you guys this playthrough, but I figured I should show you guys 
the other playthrough just to show you guys the trophy. So everything that I'm going to do is the same, except when I pull my pistol out to shoot the one guy, instead of shooting him with the pistol, I'm going to shoot him with the sniper rifle, and I'm going to show you guys uh, a little trick that I would hope you would know before you play this game, and you don't act stupid like me. I am such a stupid gamer. I didn't know this trick, and I fucking beat this whole game using the scope. I didn't know you could look down the fucking scope easily. I didn't know it. Um, but anyway, once we get through this crawl space, instead of pulling out the pistol like I so stupidly did last time, we are going to keep the sniper rifle out, which is what you should do the whole mission. Since I said before the trophy is very stingy, it wants you to use only the sniper rifle and nothing else. No Thompson, no well rod. Even though the well rod sucks ass, no well rod. Um, you're only allowed to use the sniper. Now, as you can see right now, I am aiming down the sights without aiming down the scope. Why the hell didn't I know this when I played it on my Sniper Elite difficulty? Um, to do this, I believe all you do is you press L2 instead of L1. Yeah, it would have been great to know. Trust me, it will help you a lot when you're doing your Sniper Elite difficulty playthrough. So you can, And it's accurate, too. That's a crazy thing. It's really, really accurate. Um... So take that little tidbit into mind if you haven't started playing this game yet. So you're not pulling your hairs out like I was 50,000 times a night. So here we are. We're aiming down the sights. And to kill this guy, um, it might take two shots. Uh, you, it might take one. But just shoot for the gut, and I promise you you'll get him. So here we are. We're making a run for it. And I might have gotten... Yeah, I got shot. So I wasn't going to get that trophy anyway. I got shot. But uh, I dig it 100% with my rifle. So there we go. That's always good. Which means we're going to get this other silver trophy, which is make every bullet count. And we will be getting our platinum as well. I'm so excited. Sniper Elite V2 platinum. Um, so here we are. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. There we go, make every bullet count. And bang, the Platinum Trophy. So there it is. Let's get into the list now. All right, so here it is, 100% with the Platinum. And this game, honestly, I was not expecting to get this game. I really got it to do a Let's Play on the group channel with. Ended up playing the game just to get used to it before we did the Let's Play. Started to figure out that servers were fucked. So we couldn't really do a Let's Play on it. So I ended up playing the game. Really enjoyed it. Beat it in about three days, got the Platinum in about a week um, because of the multiplayer issues that I was having. But this is a wonderful game. If you guys have not played this yet and you're, you know, you want to play it uh, or you're into like, you're getting into Sniper Elite 3, I would suggest, actually I would highly suggest play this one first and play Sniper Elite 3 next. I'm not sure if the, the storyline's tying, I'm, I'm pretty sure they won't, but uh, yeah, this is a great game and uh, we'll talk about it a little more at the end. So here's the profile, trophy level 18, 97%, 3,028 total trophies, finally broke that 3,000 mark, and I'm about to get trophy level 19, I'm really, really excited for that. Here we are, we've got 2,235 bronze, 606 silver, 151 gold, 36 platinum, and like I said, 3,028 total trophies, I am so excited that I finally beat that 3,000 mark, so like I was saying, um, if you want to get into this game, I would highly suggest it now, Sniper Elite 3 is a great game, but definitely play this one first, um, also, if if you want to get this Platinum, I'm telling you, get the game now. The servers are shit. I'm not sure how much longer they're going to be up for or how much longer they're going to be able to play for. You can't even play on the servers on 3, so to, to be able to get to the servers on V2, you're going to be lucky. The, the online trophies can be a bitch, but like I said, get it now. Get those online trophies. Get this Platinum. You can get it in about 3 or 4 days if you really push it out. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Smash the hell out of that like button. Leave some comments below. If you're still listening and you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, and I hope you guys have a great, great day.